What's up, y'all? This thing has been on my mind since yesterday. Um, after I did the first video, and um, they ended up having the, the sentencing of uh, Amber Geiger. And I didn't know they would come back like so fast with it. But you know, then everybody was talking about 10 years and it's a step in the right direction, which I thought, you know, I thought it was a step in the right direction. Um, but then the little brother got up on the stand because I guess they give witness statements. I really don't know how the process goes. Like I said, I watched five hours of this, the whole trial and everything, but I did not, I watched the lady that used to be on drugs, like, testify for Amber, but I had to pick up my son, so I didn't even watch the rest of it, but a lot of people on both sides made statements, and the bro the little brother, that's, I think he's 18, he got up there and and the videos are everywhere, y'all. And said that he loved her as a person. And he forgive her. And she, he wished she didn't have to do no jail time. Like, what? What they all smoking? <laughs> well, they say they're, they're, they're Christians, right? And that's what uh, both of them would want. Well, who knows what both of them want? Um, and then he asked the judge, can I give her a hug, please? And then the judge probably was looking like, they didn't show the judge. And he was like, please, a second time. And she said, go ahead. Then he go get up and hug her. And she busts out crying. And then they showed the bailiff. I just saw pictures of these, y'all. I didn't. I couldn't watch it. Say the bailiff was a, a, a black lady, and she's just like fixing her hair, uh, patting her hair in the back. I said, "What is going on?" <laughs> then they said the dad got up there and said that he wished they could be friends. And, I didn't, I don't know what all the dad said because I said I can't take it. Mm -hmm. I was like, "What did the mama say?" I ain't hear nothing about what the so the mama must ain't say that. Um, and then the judge they said, "Goddamn!" gave her her Bible, her personal Bible, and hugged her. What judges you know do that? I ain't never seen no judge do that. I'm so. I'm so confused. And, you know, now they got this whole debate on Christians and people say, I ain't that Christian. I said, I probably would have pretended I was going to hug her and, and, and choke her out. Oh. Uh, that's just. I mean, I guess you can forgive somebody, but to go over and hug them and right away. yeah, go over there and hug them and 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 say we could be friends and I wish you didn't have to do any jail time. You what does what does that brother. tell everybody? And that prosecutor went harder than they did. <laughs> he probably sitting there like he probably he probably I I wish I could have seen his face. He probably was like, what, what, what was the point? What was the point? I can't believe. <laughs> he went hard for them. Like, he went hard for them. Um, you know, when she was up there crying, I mean, I really didn't see no tears. And they were saying how, like, the defense, like, do these tactics to make people look more innocent, like, she, they had her dressed in that baby blue dress and um, her hair looked like it was brown so they dyed it a blonde, gave it blonde highlights and uh, no makeup and stuff like that and made her voice really really low because they kept saying when well, you speak up we can't hear you 
You speak up. We can't hear you. You gotta speak up. We can't hear you. She a cop. She's a cop, and she don't know the rules. She said, but I said she had to be on something. But we'll never know. She had been on some drugs or, or drinking that night. What else? Well, and then they say the whole racism issue. Which, you know, they found uh, various text messages and things on Pinterest and and things like that. Um, I just find it unbelievable. Like I was telling, I was telling you, Ada, yesterday, I saw a post where it was this young black guy, probably 20 something, got 45 years for killing a dog. So you saying the black man ain't worth the life of a dog's life. (laughs) And he was in his own apartment. And y'all let that be vice versa. What would have happened to that black man? He would have made it. He he probably would. If it was a black police officer man that killed a a white lady, and he thought he went in the wrong apartment, what do you think would happen to him? He would have got shot. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have. He probably would have made it uh, out of that uh, complex. He went to the wrong apartment. I still think the way those apartments set up is jacked up, but I really don't. I don't. The whole thing is just weird. It's like, why is his family? And I I can't really say the mom and the sister, but the dad and the brother. Why are they so? And they say, you know, people that are very religious, they'll say, you know, you know, you got to. Forgive for yourself and not for them, but to get up and hug her. And the judge hugged her. And the bailiff stroking her hair. I ain't never seen that. I was like, are these the us clone people that Jordan Peele was telling us about? Mm-hmm. Did the real family get kidnapped the underground? I'm confused. Someday, right? Ten years? I thought they at least gave her 20. Yeah. 25. And I think it was, I believe it was three counts. I'm not sure what the counts were. Um, I'm not even going to look all that stuff up because I don't feel like it. But they, they said, somebody said they should have been 20 years a count. That's 60. I think it was three counts, y'all. I'm not sure. But 20 years per count, basically. Um, right. What else was I going to say? Oh, so when she get out of jail, she going to be 41. She going to be a year younger than me. She could still be able to have kids. She could still get married. She could still, like... Um, one of the YouTubers on here said she could write a book. They probably have a movie about it. Mm-hmm. Family probably don't care. And what both of them do. He don't have life no more. He's 26 years old. Mm-hmm. His birthday was two, three weeks after that. His birthday was on the 28th. He died on the 6th. Or she killed him on the 6th. So he would have had a birthday. And he would have been 28 this year. Um, I just don't get it. And people, a lot of people saying she might commit suicide in there. I don't think so. I don't think so. And then people wanted to give her the death penalty. 
Some people said that was too easy. (sighs) People say a lot of stuff. And, you know, they say, you know, we're not supposed to judge, but this is unbelievable. Like, I'm like, are you kidding me? And I don't even know both of them. And I'm, I was like, dang, he just got his wisdom teeth out. He just got um, cleared to eat ice cream. He was about to enjoy that ice cream. And somebody busts in your house and kill you. And they get basically get away with it. They had the footage of, uh, they said a black girl, a woman, filmed her. I was wondering, I saw the footage of her walking back and forth on the, uh, the uh, walkway there, I think. Or balcony, I don't know, walkway or something. I said, who filmed that? And then they said that girl ended up losing her job. So basically, she walking back and forth and both of them laying there. He right. probably still breathing. But she ain't open those packets up. Who was she talking to? Was she still talking to the 911 person? And that 911 person, she need to be fired. She ain't say none of that. Do you have your, your police officer, right? Do you have your, your pack? Your uh, your first aid kit, uh, and this, that, and the other, and and is this in there and that in there? She didn't say nothing. I was like, she ain't say nothing. Like, is he still breathing? Right. She ain't say nothing. This whole this whole case is very perplexing I was thinking about it all night I said I'm not even related to both of them and to see the crime scene they showed the crime scene to show that melted bowl of ice cream to show the pillow on the couch with the blanket I'm going to show y'all my mess. <laughs> this is what freaks me out. That's my pillow and blanket. Yeah. That freaked me out. That freaked me out, yo. And those apartments are nice, right? Yeah. The apartment wasn't big at all. So she trying to say she couldn't see. There's no way in the world if y'all go to Amber guy, oh uh, no, the witnesses, it was the witness testimonies video, the, the ranger on end, he had the video footage of them walking around that apartment. That apartment is not huge at all. You open the door, you see everything. I think that is amazing. And the prosecutor said, the lights from the hallway are bright. Why would you go in there in the first place? Like is like 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 is it he was he went hard. That's why I know he was sitting there like I can't believe that, that all these people are hugging her right now when he seemed like he wanted to choke her and slap her the whole time. He like it's a simple question. Can you answer my question, ma'am? Can you answer my question? Can you speak up? I knew you wasn't talking that softly. <laughs> right. And he said, you took those boots off, right? He said, how tall are you? Oh, that might have been. I don't know which was the defense or the prosecutor that said that. But see, her police boots made her look bigger. So they had, she probably had some flats on to make her look all small and stuff. I just think, man, I said a dog's life is worth more than a black man. Life. That's very scary. And I know white folks are outraged too. They have to be. 
Some, I mean, everybody is not 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 like that. They showed her getting back in the police car. They put her in a police car, and, and she like, "Do I still have to keep this rolling?" She gonna turn that. That was suspect. You gonna turn the camera off? And the other police officer said, keep it rolling. And she get in there. She messing with her phone. What's she doing with her phone? Like, she deleting stuff? Like, what is going on? I just can't believe the daddy and the son. This almost makes it worse than... If, I don't know. I'm glad she got some time because they know she's going to rip that town. I told y'all, people's going to rip that town if she get no top. But it's almost as worse as she did get no top. And it's like if the brother and, and the father felt that way, why did she even on a trial at all? Why did, even, why did they even? It's probably because the state, the, the state, well, the mama. The mama seemed like, you know, she, she, she was fired up, you know. She said she can't eat, she can't sleep. She just try to work all the time. So I know when they got home, chill. I don't know. I don't know what that car, that ride the car was like. I don't know. That ride the car might have been something else. Like what y'all did? What? Yeah, they had to hug her. Right. This just bothers. This just bothers me. This this thing is so backwards. So, what are your thoughts on this, y'all? Um, so now it's become like bittersweet. It's kind of like if your own people. I don't even know the way to word that. Like. Your own, your own people want to just. It seemed like, 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 just get her. Just, just like somebody say, both of them was the the. Uh, gosh, y'all! I hate when my trainer thought. Basically, like. She she just made a mistake, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like the prosecutor said, whoops, my bad. Yeah. So that's what it's like. It's like they it your own family, his own family, not the mama and probably not the sister, but and the judge. Like, what does it say about in the bailiff? What is what is that even what does that message convey? That's it. To forgive it, like people are to forget. To, that's what they that's what um old dog said on uh Menace to Society. Black folks got too much de religion. Yeah. And they also said that's why slavery lasted so long. Yeah. And if you remember Django and Calvin Candy, and he was played by Leonardo DiCaprio, that was a good movie. Long, but good movie. Uh, he said, I often wonder why I forgot what he called the slave name didn't, didn't slice my daddy's throat. And he yeah. talking about we got a small part in our brain that whatever he was talking about. He said, I would have slipped by daddy's throat. It makes you wonder. It's ingrained. It programmed like 
I don't know if y'all ever seen a different world when Criss Cross was on there. And they acted like they was beefing. And Dwayne Wayne, you know, he was the professor or whatever. The teacher for the little youth thing that they were trying to mentor the kids or whatever. And he gave them a, uh, he told them a story about the jar with the two fleas in it with the lid on the top. And they said, he said, every time the fleas jumped up, they hit the lid. They kept hitting the lid. They kept hitting the lid. And then one day they took the top off the lid and they stayed down below. They got tired of hitting their head, but they didn't know they was free. So they could have been free, but they just they just got tired of hitting their head, so they just stayed low. This is deep. Wow. Don't know that you're free, but you're still hitting your head. Leave your comments below. Let me know what y'all think, because this thing done got me about bags under my eyes. I can't. Hmm. I will see y'all next time.